You didn't have any journalistic training except CIA training. Now, the last time I talked to Anderson Cooper, things really didn't go that well. So Anderson, what influence do you think the CIA has when it comes to mainstream media? Dude, you're being just ridiculous. To manipulate the news and mainstream media? So Anderson Cooper has three security guards all around him now. He actually hid in a car for me. You get just one statement from you. But this time he actually talked. Hey Anderson, we had a great interview last time. I was wondering if you get a chance to look into Operation Mockingbird? <laughs> I, you know what that is. You're talking about something what, from the 1950s, dude? 1970s, official declassified program how the CIA infiltrated the mainstream media from the higher ups. <laughs> right. It's declassified. I read about it in college, yes, I do. Nice. Do you think it's something that could ha possibly be happening today? I have no comment for you, thanks, dude. Why not? I mean, you didn't have any journalistic training except CIA training. I mean, yeah. But do you feel it's an issue of concern when it comes to kind of domestic American coverage of the world events? We see a lot of uh, coverage of Russia and a lot of coverage of Iran, but not Saudi Arabia. Why do you think human rights violations in Saudi Arabia are not covered as extensively as they should be? <laughs> Have you been to Saudi Arabia? No, not yet. Okay, well, good luck. You go there and do it. I will, <laughs> probably. <laughs> Now, I don't want to be considered rude or mean when I told Anderson Cooper to his face that he received no journalism training at all except for training by the CIA, but that's actually stated on his own Wikipedia, and he admittedly was trained to be in the CIA when he was in college and received no journalism training. But, but if you're interested in journalism training, I'm actually doing a full-fledged one-on-one boot camp course. There's laughing uh, yoga, there's tequila shots, there's running exercises. There's also a full-day training seminar with me teaching you one-on-one -on -one how to do everything that I'm doing in Acapulco, Mexico. If you're interested, check out the link below. And if you just want to check out the conference that's happening down there, there's also another link there just to check out the conference. And it's one of the best conferences that I've ever been to. So, I'll see you in Mexico, not Saudi Arabia. No, I'm, I, I made the decision. No, Anderson, I'm not going to Saudi Arabia. But if you ever, ever, ever want to have an honest one-on-one -on -one discussion about your policy, your journalism, and the truth of the matter of things, I'm, I'm all yours. But just not in Saudi Arabia. Whenever there are riots anywhere in the world, Luke is there on the ground. Oh shit, shit, oh, oh shit. Oh, no. I'm a fucking journalist, you motherfucker! To immediately disperse. You must leave the immediate vicinity. When politicians need a reality check, he faces them and confronts them head on. Uh. What happens when you worship Moloch at the Bohemian Grove? 